Hello everyone, this is Smash Pop and uh, this is an introduction video of what uh, Windows Phone 7 is about. So the device that I'm using now to do this demo is the HTC HT7. It has a 5 megapixel camera, very thin body, 4.3 inch screen and touch sensitive buttons at the bottom of the screen. So let's check out what Windows Phone 7 is about. So first of all, Windows Phone 7 is famous for its live tile um, home screen. As you can see here, these are all tiles live because um, they up they get updated instantly whenever something happens. Like when I get an email, it will appear here. And as you can see here, marketplace. On the marketplace icon, there's a number one there. That means I have one update. Okay. So, um, how do you view all your apps? Can you see this little arrow on the right side? Yes, yeah, so if you swipe to the right, you will actually get to see all your apps. Not games though, just apps. And um, to view your games, you need to go to Xbox Live Hub. So this is Xbox Live Hub. Mm, on the first screen, you get to see your games. And uh, they also have some game recommendations. Now, to go back to the home screen, just press this Windows button and you will be brought back to the live tile home screen. Now, all these tiles are editable, so let's just say I want to move them. I just have to tap and hold and I can move it to anywhere I want there and uh, if I don't want a tile I'll just have to tap it and click on the unpin button and that's it there you go uh, so what are the two features I like most on the Windows Phone 7 first is actually the the people tab the people tab actually contains all your phone numbers your contact phone numbers and um, tapping on one brings out all the information of that particular person and then apart from this tab when you swipe to the right you will also get to see the latest updates on your Facebook news feed so you can actually say that Facebook is integrated on Windows Phone 7, there you go, see, Shannon Chow just updated something. So if I want to interact with her, I can click on this button here, I can actually leave a comment or like the Facebook status, yeah, and uh, swipe again and we will go back to our phone book, okay. Now what's the other thing that I like about Windows Phone 7 is the Pictures Hub. It's basically the photo gallery. So when you tap on it, you uh, get to see three options, all, date and favorites. So when you tap on all, it will list out all your photos, camera roll, save pictures and the great thing about this is you can also view all your Facebook photos on your phone. See, we can actually um, look at our Facebook photos without going to Facebook or without launching the Facebook app. So I think it's very convenient. Now, if you don't click on any of these options, you, you just swipe right, you will get to see the latest photos captured using the phone camera. And uh, check this out. What's new? 
These are latest photos uploaded by your friends on Facebook. See how nice it is, you can actually view your Facebook friends' photos without going to Facebook. So I can actually tap on them and uh, interact with the photo as well. See? Um, description, add a comment. And uh, I shall add one now. Nice photo. Send. Yeah. See, I did all this without going to the Facebook app. Okay, what's next? The email hub. I've actually set up my Gmail on the email hub. So this is how emails look like on the email hub. Uh, tapping on one will actually show you the full email in HTML format. And um, oh yeah, on Windows Phone 7, you get all these icons at the bottom of the screen. Uh, those are actually your options. But if you don't understand what the icons mean, just tap on these little dots here and you can actually view the labels of these icons like respond, delete, newer, older, and more options. There, hide, unhide, hide, unhide. Now, if you have an app that you like a lot, like let's say Microsoft Office, and you don't want to come to this list of millions of apps to find Office, you can just tap on Office and pin it to the start screen. There you go. So you now get a live tile that brings you directly to Microsoft Office. And you can also edit the placement of the icon. So let's say you love it a lot, you want to place it on top of the screen. So you place it here. Done. See? Okay, uh, what else? Okay, a brief look at some of the default apps like the calculator. And um, alarms. So I have not set up any alarms. And then we have calendar. I wonder if it switches view. Oh yes, it's, it does. See how smooth it is. And then we can also change view, month view. And go back to another view. Oops, sorry. Uh, add a new event. No, I'm not gonna add a new event. Okay. Uh, what else can I show you? Okay. Brief look at Facebook. I've actually set up my Facebook account here. So there you go. Very very clean interface throughout the whole phone. All the apps look the same. They have clean interface, big fonts, and very, very clean placement of text and photos. See how clean they are. I love all these minimalist designs. Very easy to see. Okay, uh, what else? Uh, Twitter. This is a Twitter app. Looks basically the same as every other Twitter app on other platforms, but with the Windows Phone 7 interface with a big header there. And a clean interface again. So these are all the options you can find under the screen. Tap on these little dots to view what they are. Refresh, compose, message, search, settings, profile. And um, that's it. So there you go, a brief demo of what Windows Phone 7 is about on the HTC HD7. If you have any questions, please leave a message on my blog post and I'll try to uh, demo it for you. That's it. See you. Bye.